different colors one people different countries one africa yo what's up everybody it's your boy mr Ghana baby right here as you can see i'm wearing nigeria the giants of africa and the chipolo polo of zambia which means that no matter which country you're from it's just different countries but one africa i am an african born in ghana tell me where you born i mean which country were you born and um it's first of april they call it april full day but i call it april full of greatness april full of god's blessings and april full of productivity and creativity if you're a content creator out there this is the best time to be creative as you can see i'm in my room creating content i want to challenge all youtubers out there you know what it's 30 days in april so let's go for this challenge every single day one video so which means you need to produce 30 videos in april i mean i'm trying the challenge out there if you accept the challenge just let me know start your first video and let's keep this ball rolling you know what i'm here to share my top three scariest travel stories this is a comment that i read recently somebody asked me what am i do you get scared traveling in africa bro i don't get scared traveling in africa because i feel like traveling is an adventure we travel to learn new things we travel to embrace culture so like so many people have definitions of travel but to me traveling is just getting out of your comfort zone We've experienced both the positive side of traveling and also whilst traveling, you experience the negative side of traveling. But um, this is not negative, but this is the day that I felt like I'm not going to make it. This is a disclaimer. This is just based on what? My own personal experience. You traveling in Africa or you traveling around the world, your experience might be different. These are the top three of the many scariest adventures that I've been through. Now, let's dive into the video. Number three. You all know that every country that I go to, I keep on doing videos about street food. I always want to try new things. So anytime I go to a new country, I just want to share with you guys what these people eat. But bear in mind that in Africa, everything is hot. Our weather is hot. Our women are hot. And our food is very hot. I went to Liberia, I think November 2019, and I met this hot, beautiful YouTuber. She took me to a restaurant, so she told me that this is the main dish that everyone loves in Liberia. I was like, you know what? I just want to dive into this food and enjoy it. She told me that, do you like pepper? I was like, come on, what are you telling me? I'm from Ghana, I love pepper. And this lady was like, okay, you know what? This is the food, let's eat this food. The food was so delicious that after eating the food, I had to take the rest home. Thank God that I'm still alive today because that was the day that I thought I'm not going to see the next day. Like literally my stomach was aching. Like I felt so much pain in my stomach and I spent the whole night at the washroom. I was literally sitting on the water closet the whole of that night. From there, it just come and lie on the floor because even if I lie on my bed, I still feel the pain. So I was just lying on the floor. Five minutes later, you go and you know ease yourself. So I told my crew that you know what, yo, I'm really struggling. I don't think we can continue making videos in Liberia. Let's just go back home. So I called my mom. My mom said, just come back home. You know, when we were leaving Liberia, I think Trudy was vlogging. Some of you were like, why is what am I not smiling in this video? Because I realized that if I smile or I laugh or even I talk, I'm going to ease myself in the play. So I was just holding my ass till we got to Ghana, came back home, you know, just with some medication. Three days later, I got my real stomach back. Two. Hmm. If you have been a follower since I started this whole Africa to the world journey, you will know that what am I really had fun in Tanzania. Tanzania! It's beautiful, man. Just come yeah. see Tanzania for yourself, come, man. Come, come. 
The whole intention was to go and visit Zanzibar in two days. I end up spending two weeks in Zanzibar because the place was so beautiful. And somebody recommended that, what am I? Since you are in Zanzibar, you have to go to Prison Island. So we had to take, is it a boat or canoe? I don't even know how they call it. A boat with a motto. We started like, we started a journey because I, I was scared. I don't like water at all. So we went to the prison island, filmed all the videos, but I was literally scared. So when we were coming back, I told them that, hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna sleep. When you arrive, you call me, bro. Okay, okay, okay. I was lying down in the uh, boat and I saw water coming inside the boat. We just started this journey. And I told the captain, captain, there's water coming inside the boat. And the captain said, blood of Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Like the captain said, blood of Jesus. Even the captain is scared. How much more than me? Hey. If I make it, it's okay. If I don't make it, it's all good. Our boat is leaking. And everyone is panicking. Our boat is leaking as you can see. We are far away from home. And our boat is leaking. I've never been scared in my entire life until that very day. And I was so scared that I just told the people that I was with that, hey bro, if I don't make it, tell my family that I love them. And these guys are laughing at me. It's like we're four. These guys are laughing. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. He's scared. That's no, you're right. You never joke with your life, man. I got to live my life, bro. Now you are joking, man. I got to live my life. Don't laugh at me, man. When we got to the shore, I mean, that was the happiest day of my life. I promised myself that I would never ever take this kind of boat. When I went to Nigeria, Tayo lied to me. Tayo Aina Films lied to me. It's like, oh, we're going to Takwa Bay and we're going to take a private boat. Yeah, we got a private boat. It, it was just us. Very beautiful boat. But on our way going to Takwa Bay, our boat once again almost capsized. I'll see you next time. Hey! Oh my God, hey! Yo, you guys are so crazy. Oh my God, man. Hey! You see what I got through to get the videos for you guys. Man? Exactly. You know, if it was the only me, no, man. I will never come to a place like this. <laughs> what the thing? Oh my God. What happened? You're going, you know? Oh, okay, I thought something fell, eh? Come on. I'm not going back for anybody. Else. <laughs> <laughs> the boat has stopped. Uh -huh. We're not working again. Come on, now. I'm serious. We're going to be stranded here. It's changing. <laughs> we are with food. That's Eco Atlantic, eh? Yeah. Oh my god, I wish I even came out with my hair We're stranded, I'm serious. Oh, we're stranded, huh? How do you feel about being stranded? What is your one is your, I just you want to get ready. To, you're sitting on the floor. I want to sit on the floor and I want to get to my location. <laughs> I'm dead. I want to get to my destination. Okay. Yeah, that's And everyone was scared. Even Tayo that was telling me not to get scared. At the time telling me not to get scared. They, after everything that happened, they said, this boat is a boat from hell. And the last one was the day I got arrested in Kenya. It was my first time traveling in Africa. I mean, my first time in Kenya. I never had a friend in Kenya and something like this happening to me was really scary. I went to stand somewhere around um, Westgate Mall, took a video because my aim of going to Kenya was to start the Africa to the world and I chose Kenya to be the first country. You know that Africa to the world is all about preaching the positive part of Africa. So when I got to Kenya, I was super shocked to see Kenya this beautiful, an African country, this beautiful. I was super impressed. I just picked my camera because I was living around the Westgate Mall. So I just leave that same area. I took my camera, started recording, and then the police came. 
It was my first time. Police just wanted to put handcuffs on my hands. It was my first time. Police pushed me into their car. It was my first time sitting in between two police. How scary that was. I was literally shivering like they started questioning me what are you doing here what brought you to this country what shows that you're legal in the country if the job be that day who will i be calling that very moment because i don't have any relative in kenya they started driving me around asking me so many questions and the thing that saved me that very day was my chinese resident permit and after they released me i just said never again despite all these scary travel experiences i never give up on doing what i love that's why i say that traveling is just getting out of your comfort zone the 30 days video challenge is still on don't forget to like this video and also help us buy the new drone i'm gonna leave all the details in the comment section and don't forget to like this video and if you are new here please do me a favor and subscribe to the youtube channel it's your boy mr Gara, baby and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye